Hey guys, Sam here again. Um, I think this is part four, I think, of the pigeon shooting tips and gear. Um, what I'm going to show you today is, uh, you might have seen the video earlier, um, pigeon shooting on the rake with my nephew. Um, I'm going to show you my layout, um, what I would normally use if I was there for a full day. I'm going to point out the, the pigeon flight line. Um, and some of the bits that I would use. Um, sorry about the crudality of this this drawing. Um, I'm not the best of drawers. Um, I wish I was, but I'm not. So what we've got here. So we've got this field, and it's a bit of an L shape type thing. So we've got a horse paddock there. And we've got the tree that I mentioned in the video. And the flight line comes across from there down to that corner and then across the tree and then away across the back. Um, there's a motorway up this side, a good 100 or so, 200 yards away. There's also a road up at this end here, again, good to. 250 yards away um, and this is a hedge that comes down there's a gap in the hedge and this is the corner this is the tree base hide um, what you're looking for in a flight line um, don't look for pigeons on the ground look for pigeons in the air if you can see to a certain point where they're coming from but you can't see any further move towards that point where you can see where they're coming from uh, and look again um, follow the pigeons if you see them heading over a hedge go down towards that you know along that way see if they're dropping in onto the field over that hedge or further on, on over the over that hedge find where they're feeding and follow follow the incoming birds back and that will tell you where the flight lines are you're looking for birds in the air not on the ground when i first started i used to see a bunch of pigeons out in the field and think oh great i'm going to set up over there set up over there you get two shots and they all bugger off you don't get no more shooting it wasn't until i got a bit more practice under my belt and i thought well this isn't working read a few books a particular one was archie coates um, used his advice, followed, flight, followed the pigeons, found the flight line, set up under the flight line and I shot my biggest bag. So you're looking for the pigeons in the air. Find the pigeons in the air and then find the pigeons on the ground. What the drawing here is going to tell you is what I would normally set up with if I was there for a full day. In the video the other day I was there for a snatch and grab. I only had six decoys, didn't have any in the hide net in. All I had was decoys, a bag of cartridges, and my gun. That's all I had, and a shovel. This set out here is what I would use um, if I was there for a full day. If like in the video I was there only for a couple of hours you don't really need all this just a floater and six or seven decoys what there is all the flight lines into this field but the main one comes across from the way that I'm going to show you now I'll explain when I turn the camera around the other flight lines so here's the flight line coming across comes across to this corner and then comes across to the tree base hide so what we've got here this doodle here is the whirly at the, the head of your decoys these little crosses of your decoys set out a bit of a horseshoe shape and a floater. You want this floater 
out to, out to the back of the decoys uh, facing into it so it looks like it's coming into land into the decoys what you need to do is leave these the gap between these decoys very wide I would say a good 30 yards apart to give it give them plenty of room plenty of confidence if you was setting up some crow decoys I would set them up out here and a bit of a pattern there that will give them give the pigeons confidence to come into the decoys so your floater comes in the pigeons follow that floater they come to this point here they might want to pitch here but because they see the rotary going here they'll head for that rotary giving you the perfect kill out to 30 yards or 30, 35 it's not easy writing looking through the camera to 40 whichever you know I go sort of in between here 30 to 35 yards sorry about the camera it keeps focusing and unfocusing um, <clears throat> so that's that one your ideal wind would be coming from behind you from behind so the pigeons will be coming into land now the other flight line that does come over over here is a garage and it's on the motorway or the opposite garage there's an opposite garage which would be on the opposite side of the motorway there's some big trees and wood a bit of a plantation behind it they do sit in there and they fly across to this tree here and then across the wall to here and then it it's beggars believe but they do come across from there to here to there and then away across the back to the wood instead of just flying from here across to the wood we'll fly it across and then back that way so there you go guys that's explained the flight lines for you um that's just how i do it anyway um but any questions you know please don't hesitate to ask and we'll get you later cheers guys